I feel like I feel like Justin came through me because I needed him. Yes. Because I feel like that he was always theirs, but I feel like it was an intervention. I feel like on his way home, he stopped and saved me. Call it a missionary, you know, call it an angel, whatever you want to call it. Like um, nothing short of this experience would have. God knew nothing short of maternal love and responsibility would have shaken me awake because I was in such a darkness. I was in such a funky place, you know? And I'm so grateful that his family waited for him on my behalf because I needed that experience. I'm telling you, nothing else would have done it. Um, I learned so incalculable um, lessons, you know, through this experience. I learned a lifetime. I learned more in those nine months than I had in the previous, you know, 17. Um, and the most important of which was love because the first minute that I laid my eyes on that, on that little child, I felt love for the first time in my life uh, because this was, I would do anything, anything for you. And I did. Yeah. But I hadn't felt that kind of love before. Love before that meant like, Oh, I like having you around or you do something for me. You make me feel good. This was, I exist to make you happy. Yeah. I, I will cut off my right arm right now if it would serve you, you know? And that alone, that lesson alone changed my life forever, you know, and changed who I am. And the strength that I now know I have, what can I not do? If I can defy my own instinct for the love of another person, if I can place a child for adoption, what can I not do? There's nothing, you know? Um, I could go on and on and on forever about the ways that, the things I've learned and the ways that I've been benefited. I came to know God through my experience. Like for me, it was a, such a spiritual journey and I was in over my head and I was humbled by this situation. I knew the responsibility on my plate was far greater than my experience and maturity was adequate to handle. And so I came to Jesus, you know, and like, um, and that has been something that stayed with me as well. And that has changed the course of my life so drastically. It's, adoption changed my feeling. My, I think that that was the most exponential, exponential growth that my family has had Mm -hmm. was through that crisis of my pregnancy, you know, and we needed it. <laughs> we were a mess, you know, and so I just can't even stop saying the good that has come out of this incredibly painful, incredibly difficult thing. It's been compensated for. The sweet swallows up the bitter. It's always good enough um, that you don't mind the bad. Yeah. And so, uh, man, it's the thing I'm most grateful for. Yeah, I think with me, um, my life plan was so different than what my life has become. I mean, night and day difference. I thought having babies was disgusting and I was gonna be a professional dancer, I was gonna move to New York, and I was gonna adopt a little girl when I was in like my 40s because childbirth was so gross and I would never do that. And then I find out I'm pregnant at 15 and I'm like, well, this is gonna change. Like, baby's gotta get out somehow. So, <laughs> you know, my whole life changed in that moment, just finding out I was pregnant. And at first I was so angry that all of my mm -hmm. plans were just scattered to the wind, just that quick, yeah. you know, just like that, my life completely changed. But then as it started to evolve and I saw what my life was becoming, I was so grateful. And now, you know, I have two of the most gorgeous little girls and I get to work with, you know, amazing birth moms mm -hmm. and be involved in the adoption world. And I would have never had any clue that this realm or this community even existed without my adoption. Mm -hmm. I would have just been off doing my own thing. And I cannot imagine my life without this community mm -hmm. and without that little girl that I, you know, made that decision for. I cannot imagine my life without that experience. So even though my plans were, you know, headed this way and they completely di diverted off onto another path. I am so grateful for that and everything that it's brought into my life and the people that it's brought into my mm -hmm. life. Yeah, I, I did everything I could, I thought, to not end up pregnant. Mm -hmm. um, and I was pursuing a professional career and that was what I was going to do. I was going to give back to the world and make the world a better place. And then I was pregnant, which just, you know, stopped everything for those nine months and it was a humbling experience. It was humbling of, well, yeah, you aren't in control. You thought that this wouldn't happen. It's happening and you have to deal with it. And it created an unshakable accountability mm -hmm. for, for who I am, who I need to be. I mean, it sounds silly, but I look up to that little boy. Mm -hmm. I have an accountability mm -hmm. to him for the choices I make for the rest of my life because he, whether he is watching or not, I feel a responsibility 
because I don't ever want him to be like, yeah, my birth mom. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. I don't, and it's not that he needs to be proud of me, but I don't ever want to tarnish any, any tie to him. I don't want him to have anything in his life or attached to him that would be anything other than a positive thing. Mm -hmm. So it's created accountability that has only been amazing, that has pushed me and continues to push me because in the back of my head, I think, okay, well, you know, what will this do for my world? What will this do for the people in my world? Who will mm -hmm. this help? Who will this hurt? And I think that I needed that, like, get it together and stop thinking just about you and what you want. Think about the people around you because it had a huge effect on my family and I never thought about that. I never really thought my actions affected anybody. And then, you know, I was in the situation and my family had to deal with it too and that broke my heart a little bit to see the people I love. You know, my mother, you know, didn't lose a grandson but doesn't have a grandson that hangs out with her every Sunday. And mm -hmm. my sister doesn't have a nephew that hangs out with her every weekend. And, and I never realized that, you know, until that moment that my actions can build people up or make them have hard times. And I, it just was a really great wake up moment for accountability for me mm -hmm. with the opportunity to do great things, not just <laughs> stop doing stupid things, but you can be better. And I feel so privileged to have him in my life, to have him pick me to bring them, him into this world. I feel so, so privileged to be part of his life in any way. And I feel so privileged. It's that something to live up to. A hundred percent. That's the Definitely. perfect way to say is like, mm -hmm. I live up to this little seven year old and hopefully mm -hmm. I will be able to someday. Yes. I totally agree. And um, I really feel that I learned to not be such a control freak. You know, even though I made this choice, you know, I wouldn't have had to choose if, you know, if, if I, <laughs> sorry, I was able to make the choice to place, but everything else needed to really fall into place, mm -hmm. you know, and it made for the most beautiful situation. And I'm so grateful for that. Um, and I learned to just trust myself that, that I could do something good, <laughs> that I wasn't gonna ruin everything, that I could do something good. Um, and like what you were saying, just always having, you know, him knowing that you're doing good things, mm -hmm. that you're always thinking of him mm -hmm. and making those choices because he sees that. Yeah, he <laughs> and I can tell Justin, you changed the course of my life for good. Look mm -hmm. at the fruits of exactly. it. Exactly. Yes. You know? Oh, yeah, yes. I don't want him to ever look back and be like, I broke you. Yeah. I yes. want adoption to be the best thing in his life and for him to see it was the best thing in my life. Oh, yes. Yes. I don't want him, because I've, I've had kids, friends that are adopted and they, they've gotten in contact with their birth mother and they felt like they broke their birth mom. Right. And I don't ever want him to feel that yeah. way, ever. Yeah. Yeah, he was really my first motivation, you know, like I didn't have the self-esteem or, or a sense of self-worth to change bad choices and to yeah. change the course that I was on until he was a part of the equation. Mm -hmm. And then that was motivation for me to make the changes and do the work that, but unfortunately before that I'd only wanted to do, but hadn't mattered enough. You yeah. know, he mattered enough for me to get yeah. my head straight mm -hmm. and for me to build myself a good foundation for a good life. I did it for his sake, but it stuck with me. The benefits yes. of it have stuck mm -hmm. with me. I'm a different person than it would have been, which isn't to say that I would ever advise anyone to go get knocked up at 17 because, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for me, it's also given me a lot of faith in myself. I made this choice yes. and I believe in it. I believe in it on the hard days and the good days. I, I made a good choice. Mm -hmm. I can make a really good choice that is really good for a lot of people. That's really good to know on the days when you feel like a terrible person. Right. <laughs> and, and like, I can't figure this out, Whatever you know, whatever's going on in your life. I can't figure this out, this is bigger than me. No, nothing's bigger than you, yeah. you can figure it out. Yes. I did a good thing. Yeah. I did a good thing. I was awful today, but I, I can do good things. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I hope he can always recognize that, you know, he can take a step back someday and just see that all of this fell into place mm -hmm. for a reason that he has this, he has an amazing life. Mm -hmm. And I'm so grateful that his parents provide that mm -hmm. for him because there's things that he's doing. And I'm just like, well, yeah. I'm pretty never sure that would have happened in my life. Yeah. 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 And, I, and I want him to see 
that, you know, like you said, I'm, I'm not broken. I have an amazing life and I would not have a single thing that I have right now if it wasn't for my decision to place. And I feel like the lessons that came to me through Justin, I can kind of give back to him. Yes. Because I lecture him. That's a, like 50% of our relationship <laughs> is me like giving him advice that he's like, hey, whatever, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> but, um, but I feel like so much of what I learned when he came into my life, I can now share with him. You know, these, I can tell him, dude, you can do anything, mm -hmm. you know, and to tell him like, there is a power available, you know, um, to bless your life and to, and to, to give you whatever it is that you want and you can be whatever you want to be and all these different things and about transformation and about redemption and about, um, you know, making changes that you want to make and things like that. So.